Welcome to this demonstration of the revolutionary Arenflow grease trap, the only premium quality, cost effective and odour free maintenance grease trap available. This short video will show you how easy the Renflow grease trap is to maintain and highlight the many benefits it has over other above ground grease traps and grease removal units. Here we can see the Renflow grease trap plumbed in, with the waste pipe from the sink coming in from the left in 40mm pipework and then exiting on the right of the unit in 50mm pipework. This is the ideal but it can be installed with both 40mm and 50mm on both inlet and outlet. In most cases the Renflow grease trap will be located underneath or near a commercial sink and it is important that the pipework either side of the unit is well supported. We will now demonstrate how easy it is for you to maintain your Renflow grease trap. The only maintenance required is to change the plastic liner periodically once it becomes full of fat soils and greases and food solids. Firstly, make sure there is no water running into the unit from the sinks and remove the lid. As the internal plastic liner is transparent, you will be able to see the waste that is collected within it without there being any odour released. Before we disconnect the liner, we will push down gently on the top of it. This will discharge a little of the water from it, allowing us to disconnect it without any spillage. A few seconds should be enough. Often you can hear the water discharging into the outlet pipework. Now you can remove the rubber couplers on each end. This is done with the Renflow tool supplied with the unit or can be done with a screwdriver. Simply undo both the Jubilee clips on each rubber coupler and slide the couplers away from the unit. At this point the unit is free from the pipework and can be moved forward enough to insert the end stoppers. So move the unit forward carefully, wipe round the inside of the gland with a piece of paper towel and ensure that it is clean, then firmly insert the end stoppers while holding the gland on the liner. We advise that you wear rubber gloves when doing this. The liner is now fully sealed and the unit can be moved safely. Be aware the whole unit with a full liner in it can weigh as much as 45 kilograms, so moving it must be done by at least two people. Once you have moved the whole unit to the area where the full liner is to be stored, Either lift out the liner or tip it out into the storage facility you have. Here you can see the full liner being placed into a secure watertight storage container. You have now managed to empty a grease trap without coming into direct contact with the waste material or risking cross-contamination in food areas. This is the revolutionary nature of the Renflow grease trap. Now you can return the casing to its original location. At this point you have the opportunity to clean the area where the grease trap is normally located a distinct advantage over other types of static grease trap or grease removal system. You can also clean and dry the grease trap casing. Unfold and insert the replacement liner into the casing. It can only fit into the casing one way round, so make sure it is correct. Simply push the unit back into position, like so, and slide the rubber couplers over the glands, making sure they locate securely. Do up the rubber couplers, they only need to be watertight and secure, so do not feel like you have to over tighten them. Now you can run water from the sinks. You will be able to see it fill the liner, so make sure that the liner sits in the casing correctly at this point. The final step is to replace the lid. When preparing to carry out the maintenance on your Renflow grease trap, make sure you have the following available. New Renflow liners and end caps. Renflow tool or screwdriver. Paper towel. Latex gloves. A storage facility for your full liner. Enough time when the sinks are not being used and some help with lifting.